And then when he kissed me... <laughs> you said, I've been here before. I said... You want a water? Yeah. To make this digestible? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We promise. Oh, we gotta look here. I just be looking at myself. Bro, the transition of us having water bottles in this episode. <laughs> we, we went Versus from, the margaritas. Right. We said we need hydration. We said water. We had a night. Nice, that that episode mm. had us drinking last night. We ain't even gonna lie. How did you feel? Overall consensus. Uh I'm recovering. I'm recovering not only from the hangover, but from the episode. <laughs> How are you feeling, bitch? That's the real question. You know, um, I might need some alcohol. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I said, should we? Drinks? <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new or those of you who don't know me, welcome. I don't know what brought you here, but I love that for you. I love that for me. And I love that for us. <laughs> I think that's what I love that for us. Did I get it yes. right? Yes. Okay, wait. So we wanted to talk about the first episode that aired yesterday. Um, we put up a questions on my Instagram, and so you guys sent sent some of those in. So we're gonna go through those. But first and foremost, it was just like it we're was just so happy to be here. It, was, it was so nice to watch. Like getting to actually like I know we lived it, but it was so interesting to watch. It's a different experience, I think, with Love Island as well, because like first time we did it, like you come out and everybody has already seen what you have seen. Mm -hmm. um, so this is like, to be able to watch it with, to you, with guys you guys and like read different. along, mm -hmm. like this is so much fun. It's so much fun. Y'all <laughs> laughing with us, crying with us is gonna be amazing. Yeah. Cause there will be tears. Go, strap in, put your seatbelt on. Strap in for the tears. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go through some of these questions. Reign of Style said, favorite full circle moment going from Vegas Villa to a real island villa together. Different. It was honestly amazing, like really walking in and being like, oh, this is really what this it is really supposed to look like. We're in Fiji. <laughs> We're in Fiji. Um, I think Toby said it in the first episode where he was like, we have this ginormous villa, mm -hmm. and also the beach is right there. We're yeah. on the beach. Like, no, it was huge. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that translates as well. Like, How it I was in it person? Does, yeah, but I would literally look, it just kept going. Yeah. Okay, so someone said, so far it looks like the games are a bit tough. Are the rest of the games like that? What do you think? I feel like yes and no. That's how I feel. Yeah. Because I feel like, obviously, with the ch we've done the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. You've bodied the challenge. Like, you are the challenge. Like, mm -hmm. I think with this stuff, it's like, when you put balloons in a pit with, like, grease on the bottom, it's different from like heavyweight shit or like agility. Like this is very much like enough to take a like a built person out. Like it's like it's different in the sense that like it's a silly game, mm -hmm. but it's hard in a way that's like what the fuck, you like, know? Like I feel like for me, I feel like in comparison to the challenge, it's not <clears throat> doesn't hold it. It's not. Me. It's not like that. Right. But I feel like in there, do some of the challenges get harder than the first one? Yes. Yes. So. But that's the thing. It's like they're silly challenges. Yeah. But it, they're like hard, silly challenges. They're, they're hard in different ways. Yeah. Without giving too much. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> how we're answer that question. <laughs> the rest are really like about what we thought when we were coupling up, right? Yeah. So the rest of the questions are really about who we chose, like you know, what we were thinking, who are our top three. So we're just gonna like talk through that. So who are your Who are your top three people? Top three. I would say Toby, Callum, and then Jack. That's my, in that order, top three. Yeah, my, my <laughs> top three was Curtis. <laughs> Bye, Jack. <laughs> um, my top three in that order, in this order, would be Curtis. And then I feel like I was tied between Jack and Steph, like, attractive-wise. But then I feel like Steph and then Jack. <laughs> Bye, Jack. <laughs> Let me explain. Yeah, explain. Let me explain. So I feel like when you're in there and you have to pick somebody, you have to go off of like vibes and energy that like you're getting. Like even the first time around when we have to step forward for someone, when the guys come out, you want you're looking for something. Like if you find them attractive, you also kind of want to get an inkling that they like you back. Curtis from the jump, like he had great eye contact. He'd be smiling at everyone. He like, definitely like was into you. He, like, coming in. But he, yeah, I feel yeah. like he gave that energy, and I I picked up on it. And then Steph also gave heavy energy. Like we'd be taking like the breaks where we'd be like off camera and he'd just be like looking like giving like 
eyes. Eyes, like yeah. blurry, and then he'd like look at me and he'd And that smile. goes a long way in the villa. It goes a long just way. Just simple eyes? Listen, especially for me, I'm like, I need to know that this person is gonna reciprocate because I've been through the whole, I step over for you, you don't pick me. So I was like, <laughs> I, I wanna make sure that person likes me back. Yeah. So when I was getting that kind of energy from Chris like, okay. and Steph, I was like, those are my top two. Jack is just sexy, you know, like <laughs> he's fine. And I was like, he'd be good for, you know, challenges and stuff. Yeah. That's it. I said, but, um, you know, he has a great personality too. So I was like, we'd, That's get, along. Route I wanna we'd go. get along. Yeah. Mm hundred -hmm. percent. And then I was literally, so we were picking and I'm sat there. I'm like, Sally, help. Curtis is now taken. I didn't know as you didn't know how to talk about it. No, yeah, yeah, no, I don't mind. Okay. So as soon as, let's chat. Let's chat about it. As soon as Curtis was picked, I was like. So Justine looks at me and she goes, damn it. she goes, I think I'm going to pick Steph. I literally look at her and I'm like, you're gonna have, no offense, love you Steph, love you, you're a baddie. But I looked at Jay and I was like, I know you. And from what I've gotten, like vibes wise from Steph, I was like, you're gonna have one conversation and it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah. I was like, you need to pick Jack. And I'm like, I almost wish that they would have showed that conversation because it was so cutie. Like I feel like even when Maya Jamma stood there and she was like, Justine, it's time to pick. You looked at me, you're like, Sally, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. She was like, what do I do, Sally? And I was like, pick Jack. No, but for 10 minutes, for 10 minutes, you gave me hatching. You're like, I don't know, they're, do what yeah. you want. I was like, but, what I, you want? but the, then you were right. At the end of the day, like, it's your decision, right? And I was like, <laughs> And then I kept you. being like, but help me. Yeah. I'm asking you for help. She was like, help. And I was like, I'm telling you right now, vibes that I'm getting, you're going to have one chat with Steph and like, be like, ah, fucking hell, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, pick Jack. And then by my job. Goes, Justine, and your then, turn. And, and I then like, you go, Sally. What do I do? I'm like, pick Jack. Pick Jack. And she goes, I, the guy I would like to come up with is Jack. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was me. So how did you feel about after you coupled up with Toby? Um, I think for me, it was like the seconds we had um, before Maya Jamma announced that we were going to be going straight into a challenge. I knew it was gonna be Toby for me because, and I'm so happy that they showed this. But he knew everybody's like, names. <laughs> It's the little things for Sally. Every time I ask her, she's like, no, it's because he knew everyone's name and I like that. I was like... That is such a thing that is overlooked in today's society. It's just being receptive and asking questions yeah, and actually and retaining listening. that information. Yeah. Like, I that was it. hot as fuck for me. I was like, so you ask names and you retain that information? That's the like for that. me. Like, so yeah. Do you not? Do you, do you, no, I do get you, it. You know? Yeah. How but many, if it were me, I wouldn't have even remembered he did that. See, that's why I'm like. But I peep, I peep that, and I think you know, coming into this um, second chance that we got, I was like, I really want like a sweet, genuine guy. Like I wanted somebody that was just real, and that was enough. <laughs> yeah. Him, him knowing names, I said. That's the I'm crying. Me. I'm not gonna lie. I went into this like I'd be great. Yeah, to find let's someone. chat about that. Let's yeah. chat about that. So going into this season, I promise, like my heart, not in it. Not in it. I was not open. I'm like it'd be great if I meet someone, you know. But honestly, emotionally, I just was like I'm not gonna do this to myself again. So I'm just gonna go in there, game focus. That's it. I'm not really here for like the love part. But like if it happens, it happens. So that was my mindset. That was not mine. <laughs> Was your, I was too triggered, bro. I said I, I would mean, not do this again. And you know what's funny is like I was also triggered. But you still were But like, I still was like the last time I was in a full blown proper relationship with Love Island. Yeah. And so I really thought like if you I believe just, in it. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go in, be myself, and hopefully meet a great guy and it you know, hit the hit the fucking rewind yeah. and it would work again. So um, that was hoping for, yeah. for the both of us. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, that was that was really my mindset. I I didn't discredit the process, you know. Wow, that's amazing. I, I said did. run it back. I discredited it. I, I would I, if I to be fair. If I was in your position, I would too. <laughs> yeah. Because at least for me, it was like you know what uh, I fell in love in there. It didn't work out afterwards, but like it worked for the mm. most part. I think the reason why Johnny and I didn't work out was just you know who we are as individuals, and that's fine. <laughs> Sweet. Back. The way you act. Eh. Bruh. No, I love. I love. I love. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to hit the rewind with it. Mm -hmm. Run it back. But mm -hmm. speaking of Johnny. Speaking of Johnny. Oh, truly, you really said y'all have had a time. I'm here to ruin it. Okay, let's talk about it. It's what you guys were asking. All of our questions. Yeah, the majority of the questions were 
did you know it was it was Johnny kissing you? Let's chat about even even a slightly before that when Maya came in and she was like, you know, people are coming in. Mm -hmm. I had this feeling. I was like, you know what? I wouldn't put it past the Love Island gods to be like sprinkle, sprinkle. So I kind of had a feeling. The second I got stood up, it, it was it's it's a weird thing in there because I didn't want to be so conceited and so like uh, self indulged. Someone's gonna kiss me. I that like ah, uh, like it's gonna be Johnny because like this is you know I didn't want to be on that level. But also when he when I when I even when I was pulled up when I got stood up like y'all saw it. I even the only one stood up too. <laughs> yeah, like in that moment I was like this this could be none other than the works of Johnny right now to stand me up. Make it a proper moment and stand me up. Like I was like, who else would be with the cinematics mm. to do this much right now? You know, I had a feeling in my soul, in my heart, in my gut, like really, truly. And then when he kissed me, <laughs> you said, "I've been here before." I said, "This is weirdly, this is weirdly familiar." <laughs> This feels a little natural. I'm crying. This feel yeah, the rhythm of it. Yeah. Like, y'all. The rhythm is rhythming. <laughs> feels like a little warm hug. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? People mm. were like, girl, it looked like you enjoyed it. I did. Okay. <laughs> okay, then so what? So silly. Yeah. I kissed those same lips for a year. Yeah. Like, not a year. Um, I kissed those same for lips for months, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And then I think coming out of it. Oh, and I don't think we can speak on coming out. Y'all are gonna have to tune yeah, in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tune in. But man. in that moment, that's what it was giving. Like I was like, I've kissed these lips. It's it's giving a minty freshness that mm -hmm. I've 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 been familiarized <laughs> with. But y'all are gonna have to tune in because it's heaps. Um, um I was feeling a lot of emotions. I think in that moment. Yeah. You know? And that that's you know what? That's another thing I want to say. I want to give myself credit because it's what a, a position to be put right? in. Right. I don't think a it's a tough position. It's a tough position. Yeah. And I I felt very oh so people also asked about my reaction. Did I? Oh, yeah. Know or How did you feel? So I feel like first of all, because you were you were prayer hands, bro. Let's talk about that. My my sis my sis was there like this. I said, Lord, it was almost like your gut also knew. Mm -hmm. This is the thing I love about women is our guts. We'd be knowing because all, all we could all we could obviously we couldn't see. All we could hear was footsteps and then the sound of snog. Just the that's all you could hear. And then when I knew you had been kissed because Toby said something out loud, I was like shit. He so, said I I yeah. haven't even kissed her yet. He said when he said that I was like. Sally's so being kissed, and then in my head, I'm like, Lord God, please, please, don't let it be this She started bad. instantly Bro, praying. Bro, I said, God, hear me out. <laughs> and I just was like, let it be anybody else. You know what she I mean? She said, anybody else that's interested in You know what I mean? Anybody like, else. I'm like, I know there's going to be amazing people here kissing on my girl, but I said, please don't let it be one person that like, uh, we, yeah. that we think. Oh, and that was the other question. People were like, um, did you know some of the other Islanders that were going to be there? I feel like as far as U.S., like, I think, like, obviously some of us are close. So I think a few of us, like, knew, like, I knew you'd be there. I knew Kira would be there. We knew Ray would we knew, be we there. We knew Ray would yeah. be there. Um, but as far as the other Islanders, like, UK and stuff, we did not, I did not know who was going to be did there. Did not do our research. Had no idea. Had no idea. We tried. Uh, I feel like I tried, but it's just, like, I don't know any UK people to have been able to ask, like, hey, who else is coming yeah. to this? So, like, it was, everybody was, like, a nice surprise. Yeah. Um, um, One of my questions was also uh, if I knew who Toby was before coming in. Yeah. I did not. I did not. The only person I knew was Liberty. And even then, because I don't even know if I can say this, but I met her. We met her. Or no, you knew her before. Mm -hmm. But I met her at the airport. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when I ran up to her, I was like, Liberty. But I didn't know any of them based off of their seasons. Their seasons. Um, yeah, and he not even Toby. I picked Toby and had a crush on Toby from the jump because he knew people's names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was it. Cute. Yeah. You said it's a little thing yeah. for you. It doesn't <laughs> take much. But I didn't know anyone except for, well, I knew Liberty because she had come to LA for a little bit and we got and to hang out. out. I hung out with her and Kaz. I watched Curtis's season. His season was the only one that I actually remember watching and loved. Yeah, you know, he was- So that's why you came in with Smoke. Yeah. For not because of what he did or how his season played out, but I remember him being a dancer. And y'all know how I feel about dancers, so I was like... My girl, she just wants to dance I just wanna with somebody. Dance. I, just, I really, really just want to <laughs> dance with somebody, for real. And, like, 
and the vibes that he was giving me i was like okay he's cute like off the jump he was like my top pick he's he's great vibes he's a sweet guy and i was like, he he does he's great dog. vibes great vibes but he's then, just like a happy person yeah yeah and then i was pleasantly surprised that night getting to know jack i was like so how are you with rhythm that's my first question with every man i said can you dance he said oh say less stood up and actually danced and I was like wow okay it was good so like love islands god said I, they really said either one would be fine listen so you know I'm excited for you guys to watch yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good vibes like yeah. and even last night let's talk about like the premiere night with everybody yeah okay. so last night we got to watch the episode with a lot of the castmates and just like also a lot of love island USA people and that was so nice it was so fun it was actually like would you ever, healing yeah would you have ever imagined you and like johnny being like the fact that after you guys broke up we would always say this we'd be like imagine running into johnny and in all that time we never saw him i actually kind of like love this living topic. in la we yeah. ne you never well i i ran into him like maybe once or twice but you I think never saw him even johnny said it i think when he was coming in he was like yeah we've seen each other we've exchanged a few words and that was real like we saw each other at a few events, and I think both of us were in the same mindset of like, we just, you know, wanna, ugh, fuck, I don't even know how much I can say. Seeing him last night, and then seeing like, he had to sit there, oh wait, I was dying laughing at this, I was talking to Noni, um, and I was like, he had to be sat next to me while I called him Satan in my intro. <laughs> Like, what a time. Only on Love Island. What a weird, like, like a only weird. Love Island would force you to be sat next to your ex. As while, you yeah. diss him. Yeah. And also kiss him. Right after he kisses you blindfolded. Blindfolded, I might add. <laughs> like, it's heaps. Uh, like, I, I, I just, I want you guys to keep in mind, like, as much as we're in there, we're real people. Yeah. <laughs> like, so how did you feel at the time when the kiss happened? And then how, how do you feel now watching it? That's a really good question. I think being in there, I was like, let me not be so self-absorbed and conceited to think that like, they put my ex in here to kiss me, right? So I think I didn't make a big deal about it when it happened, although I knew the second he kissed me that it was him. Um, watching it back, it's funny. Like I even, I even told Noni this, I was like, watching it back, it, it almost feels like you're a third party objective like viewer. Mm -hmm. I see myself and it doesn't feel like me. Yeah. I see myself and I'm like, this is a, this is just a person, and I feel so bad. For her. I'm I like, felt bad at free. Like watching it, I'm like, I feel so bad for this girl. Like her ex just came in and kissed her, right? But like, really, me as who I am as a person, like when I was in there, I was trying to make light of everything, yeah. and I'm like, ah, you know, it, it is what it is, and it's funny, it's, uh, uh, it's silly. But watching it, I'm like, yeah, I know exactly how we felt deep down. And it was like, it was a lot. It was, it was a really lot. a lot. But that's what, remember, I, I don't know if like we touch on this in the next episode, so I don't know how much we can say. So we'll chat more about that tomorrow and whatever's going tonight. And you guys can get the real tea. Yeah. But send us more of your questions every day. We're going to try to keep up with this. Really, truly, we're going to try. Some of the videos might be longer than others, depending this on This one's like a shorter one. It's like, you know, episode one, everybody gets like introduced. It's like, a, it's all good, happy vibes. <laughs> but we will say we're so happy to be back. Yeah. Um, and even just like watching it last night with everybody was such a great such, feeling. And watching it with yeah. you guys, like getting to This is such like, a different experience. Kiki yeah. with y'all. <laughs> we're happy, we're just happy to be here. Yeah. And we'll be sat here Every day. Every day. Catch us on the comfy couch. On our white. The comfy, comfy couch, couch is cute. Can we just come up with something? No, you single handedly. <laughs> the comfy. <laughs> catch us on the comfy, on the comfy couch. couch. Well, because remember the, the. What is it? That show? The big. The big, the big comfy yeah, couch. Yeah. Just yeah. That. Okay, cute. <laughs> catch us on the comfy couch. <laughs> yeah. Love you guys. Bye.